Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and this is Wicked Flex. For this particular episode, I'm going with the 1995 film Hackers. You know, this is an overly stylized film from the 90s that really hit me at the right time uh, when it came out. I was in school, and it's primarily telling the story of a group of... Uh, you know, ragtag high school hackers who take on the system. And that really hit me at the right time when, you know, I was dealing with the daily brouhaha of a pretty crap school. So, uh, you know, the interesting thing, though, is this is primarily starring a lot of familiar faces. Johnny Lee Miller, the main actor in the piece, you may recognize from Train Spotting. Um, you have Angelina Jolie, who needs no further introduction. Uh, Fisher Stevens from the Short Circuit films. Lorraine Bracco from Goodfellas and The Sopranos. Matthew Lillard from Scream. And uh, in what I think is one of the most interesting guest spots in a film, Penn and Teller's own Penn Gillette makes an appearance. And, uh, you know, that's an added plus for me because I'm a Penn and Teller fan. But, um... I'm hoping this is somewhat of a timely recording in that I'm recording this video on January 18th, 2012, the day of the big uh, semi-internet blackout in protest of the impending SOPA bill that we're all hoping doesn't get passed. And I feel like without getting too much into the politics of the SOPA deal, um, the themes in this film kind of play into that. Uh, and what I mean by that is, as I say, it's telling the story of this group of ragtag hackers, and they're always trying to one-up each other, always trying to best each other, always in competition. And so one of their own ends up hacking this uh, corporate computer system, inadvertently unlocking an embezzlement scheme by the head honcho of the same corporation. He himself is a sort of self-aggrandized wannabe hacker who then, you know, goes on the offensive, plants a uh, virus, computer virus, that he basically signals to the government these hackers are behind, few of them get arrested, and then it's left to the remaining hackers to sort of uh, band together, both friend and foe alike, to take this corporation down and I'm not going to ruin you know how it all plays out whether they do best to the corporation or not you know I'll let you uh, for those of you who haven't seen it check that out for yourself but as I say it's an overly stylized film and that's because uh, a lot of vibrant colors a lot of stylized editing and things like that um, the, the score of the film you know or at least the soundtrack of the film is just full of a lot of early techno and electronica and i love the soundtrack to the film um music from and inspired by air quotes and i think as i say timely wise with the whole sopa thing it kind of plays into you know that whole element in that hacking arguably is an illegal act um it plays into that whole piracy side of things but not on the same token, hacking, what, what motivates it is the free exchange of information, wanting to keep information free and at our fingertips. And so, you know, I'm not going to get into uh, where I stand on that necessarily, but I will say this is at least worth one sit through. Um, you know, it's not the greatest movie in the world, but it's a guilty pleasure of mine and uh, one that I loved growing up. And if you haven't seen it, I suggest you sit through it at least once. If you have, I'd love to know what you thought of it. Uh, but, you know, otherwise, that's all I'm going to have to say on it. So I hope this video finds you well, and that'll be it for me. So I'll catch you later. Peace.